Okay, I'm gonna catch the uh, spearing today. It's the bait for uh, next year. And what you can see here is I build this contraption, and this is for the umbrella net. What you want to do is actually put screws on each and every one of them. Now these are not stainless steel screws, so it's a cheaper version, just a regular screw. But if you use it enough, what will happen is it will rust and it'll lock in anyway. And that way you don't lose it. So it's a good little uh, tip for you to do. So the line here at the end, you should double loop it. It actually allows the uh, net to stay more sturdy. It doesn't fall off as easily. Always double knot it, and then you can go ahead and set up the rest the same way. It'll feel a little tight, but as you can see, when I bend it, it's like an umbrella, upside down umbrella. Uh, this net is actually, uh, I think, is what, 10 years old or 15 years old? It's been a while. It's very old, but it's very good. Ropes. Do need one to hold the bait, which I am changing today. I'm going to test this. I used to use my own net here. Very sticky and nasty, but uh, it works. I'm going to change it up. This is actually where I'm going to put all the smells and whatever thing that we're going to use. We're going to use bread today, uh, some tuna can, whatever. Any, anything that smells fishy. I was going to use rocks. You can actually put a rock in here too, but we have more space. And you're going to use a slide. Maybe. The reason why is I have this secret phone that I'm going to use. I know it looks like uh, sriracha, but anyway, you can keep that container. Don't eat it, bro. It's stinky. Ugh. Anyway, I put this in here. Eight ounce. It should be plenty to keep the weight down. Lid. I cut a rope. I want to use a new rope because that one's too thick. You simply slip it in. You tie a knot. You can do like a fishing knot. Those that know how to do fishing knots, you loop it all around, maybe around six or seven times. Bring it over to the hole right over here and loop it right over. And it should be able to do just like a regular fishing line. Look at this. And it'll be nice and tight. There you go won't go anywhere this lid won't fall off it's pretty cool there's a little bait jar remove the sticker anyway uh you can see the brand right here it's called four and a half inch bait jar prominent.com but you can buy this on amazon it's pretty cheap include delivery it's not bad for the price anyway i can't rip it off that's fine eventually it's going to fall off one day should have done that in the beginning you simply screw it on just make sure you screw it nice and tight when you put all your stuff in there. Then I'm going to tie right up here. Now, very important. You didn't put anything. I didn't put anything, yeah. yeah right. But I'll show them later. So here's importantly, you must have the line heavy enough. You see it? Look at this. It has to sit right down there. So when it drops, it'll look like this. It's very important to do. All right? So again, length is important. If you hang in like this, you're not going to get fish. Fish will be hanging out here. They won't be going down to your net. It's a very important to go all the way to the bottom. There you go. So we're going to use the brine uh, macro. Try to look for one oil. I couldn't find it. You get that at a dollar store. Have a little bread. These are old bread. Had a little barbecue. Everybody was uh, eating, but they didn't eat enough bread, so therefore these are not going to be thrown away. They're very effective in attracting the fish because it flakes off. I was just going to put half for now. Just kind of break it up in there. Again, the sponge. The reason why I have the sponge, it helps with the. Uh, Absorption of my special formula that I'm going to use. Here's a special formula. Just soak it right into it. Macro fish works very good. Just a little bit just to get them coming. Close it up. If 
right away I wear gloves because the formula I have will be ex ex I will expose that information to you later. Actually, I have it at home. Now I'm gonna test to see if this works. I feel the weight is not heavy enough with eight pounds, but we'll see. I might add more weight to it. Let's check it out. See what's down there. Look at that. You got a charm full of stuff here. Perfectly caught. All right, so we're going to scoop it out and show you a little secret here too. What you want to do is bring one of these Chinese takeouts. So don't throw it away. It's very useful. It's a scooper. Now you can scoop it or I can show you another method. It's two way. I like this way the most. Scooping could be good too, but you can actually shake it right off like this. If it's not windy, if it's windy, it's challenging, but you can shake it right off. But if it's windy, you gotta scoop. Let's do it again. And that formula should last for a while because it, as long as the sponge absorbs the uh, ingredient in and the smell in there, it'll work perfectly. Look at that. Alright, here's the next poll. Oh my god, look at that. Just a little drip. Look, I'm testing it. I have proof here. Something is working. Something is working. The formula. Look at this. By the way, folks, you save a lot of money if you do it this way. Catch it this year, freeze it up, save it for next year. All right, so the only annoying part, which is okay, is that you have to squirt it every single time. Just a little bit, not too much. Okay, drop it again. All right, let's go check out the macro. This is our test. Pure macro, nothing else. All right, some stuff, but look at this. Five fish or four, five, okay, five. In comparison to what I got prior to this, so. Talk about a big difference here. All right, here we go, another round. I see a lot, look down there, look down there. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Whoa! I'm telling you guys, this formula is a killer. It works like a charm. Look at this. There's no way. Look at this massive. Amount. Oh my god, look how big this guy is. Perfect for fluking next year. Oh, I gotta throw away these. Uh, where is it? There's a killer here. Oh, there he goes. See ya. This has the same formula but deeper water. So, I gotta be quick at pulling it. Alright, much better than before. I guess you need to make sure you wait. Make sure there's no killies in here, nope. I don't see a whole lot down there, even with my polarized glasses. But uh, last time I said that, there they were fishes in there. So we'll see. Ah, oh, there you go. I was wrong again. They camouflage very well. Man, these killies. I should freeze them up too for next year. Good amount of scoop, settling in. Aww. So tiny. Jeez. I expected bigger ones. That's so sad. Hey, we come earlier next time then. There's always uh, more time in the season. All right, let's see what's in here now. Ooh, oh my God, there's gonna be killies over there. It is, folks. This is insane, purely killies. Two spearing, that's it. Good 
ano de boa. Uh, look at his killies. Uh, boy. Fly off. Man, I am still disappointed. Wait, I have some uh, oh, crabs. Uh, there's not more than this. <laughs> 